Hi, my name is Lewis. I'm from uh, the group Fight for NYCHA. We're going to be presenting tonight a People's Budget, which is an outline that shows the money that we need to save NYCHA is within reach. It's not punitive, and uh, some of the money we need is already legislation ready. NYCHA is, uh, is, uh, NYCHA has the capital need of about $32 billion. That's what's estimated. There's never been an independent accounting of that uh, money, of that figure. Um, nevertheless, we have within our proposal uh, money that's available that's been identified that, uh, that totals to about $390 billion. This is money that can be made available for public housing in New York City and to fund other programs to, uh, to uh, address racism, housing, justice, and uh, dignity, and to improve dignity of the lives of people in New York City. That's going to be the subject of tonight's town hall. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing up tonight. A that shows that the money exists to save Nigeria. And when we say save, we mean fully fund Nigeria. The city continues to claim that Nigeria needs 32 billion dollars for all repairs. And repairs means having working elevators, having working hot water boilers, having water pumps, repairing things, removing mold, removing lead paint. Fixing roofs so that there are no more leaks. Fixing plumbing because plumbing is the biggest cause of leaks in life. All this money exists. We're going to show you where that money can be found. Before we begin, I want to give you some special thanks to some special people who helped make tonight happen. The first person is the office of the Honorable State Senator Julia Salazar. Thank you. 
very controversial. It was brought in during the basic inquiry plan because there is no money. That led to the settlement. The mayor had, was forced to settle with, with HUD, and that created a crisis point where the attorney from Crimea would rise up. They claimed not to be serving $2 billion. These are very, this is a very small number, but I'm going to read it out to you. This is the first proposed settlement that Nitro um, took to HUD and to the judge in very small numbers at the very bottom right hand corner. It says $4 billion. $4 billion in change. That's all the city was willing to give to Nitro. Nitro needs $32 billion. The judge looked at this and said, that's not sufficient. Nitro needs $32 billion, and all the city is willing to give is four. And this is going to be spread out over 10 years. 10 years. So people who need, people who need elevators, hot water boilers, repairs for leaks, new floors, the floors get in. They were going to have to wait 10 years. The judge said, no, this is not sufficient. So now you came back with a new plan. And this is the one that was signed. It's only about 2.8 million. It's less money. The judge accepted less money. So this opened the door for the mayor to consider RAD. RAD is a federal program that we hear they're trying to stop. RAD is a program that brings in private landlords to manage public housing. They collect the rent. They decide to do this in public housing. They sign the leases. They like the leases. These won't be other leases that they sign. They're going to be private Section 8 leases that the landlord gets to be able to add buyers. And it's in those buyers that the landlord can set very strict house rules. And under that, a violation of a house rule is considered grounds for eviction. There are other risks of that, including leasing, um, tenant harassment. The mayor has claimed he formed a round table where they would protect their wives and tenants. And that turned out to be a lie because the, the mayor's own showcase for that is called Ocean Bay. That's located in Far Rockaway. It came out in a report published by City Limits that. 10% of all natural evictions happen at a rad development. So this is the problem. Imagine these 32 billion dollars at Fulton Houses alone, they need 168 million. At Chelsea and Elliott, they, they're combined still by community board for they need 176 million. Harvard, Sorry, excuse me, Harbor Beauty is 46 million. And this is what we hear with schools. Every year the politicians say, we care about NYCHA, we care about NYCHA. But every budget year, every fiscal year, they don't set aside the money. You saw in the, in the federal court settlement that they made, they only offered $2 billion of change for NYCHA, spread out over. 10 years. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when the politicians say they care about my They say, here, come take the ball with me. And then they take the ball away from you. And then you land on your back. Everyone remembers this cartoon when they were a child. This is how the politicians treat my It's a joke. But it's not only a joke, it's cool. It's a fool because they're playing with their lives. And the solution we're going to present tonight is called the People's Budget. And with your support, if you support and adopt this People's Budget, we're going to take this city wide. And it's going to be in here. We, we vetted this, these ideas in Golden Houses over the course of several weeks. We made some changes, but this is the, uh, the plan that we're going to prepare tonight. We have copies of it when we uh, came in here. These are the three important points about this um, people's budget. 
not just the politicians claim that NYCHA needs $32 billion. We can identify $290 billion for NYCHA. And public housing statewide. And for other programs. The money exists. The, the legislation that we envision does involve some new taxes. But none of it is punitive, meaning it's not a burden. We're not here to make a burden. We're here to demand that public housing is fully funded. And like I said earlier today, tonight, some of these ideas are already legislation ready. Meaning it's easy for the legislators to put them into a legislative body and have it voted on. These are not difficult ideas. This is the first one. This is already has been sponsored of and all the by um, New York State Assembly member Robert Rodriguez. This is a repeal of a co-op and condo tax statement for the top 10%. This is legislation ready. This plan would, would generate $170 million per year. And if you, if you uh, calculate something called the net present value over 30 years, that involves a little financial calculation. That comes out to about $3.3 billion that's available right now because that money can be borrowed of this. This is money that is available for public housing statewide. Anything that comes out of Albany has to be money that's available for public housing statewide. This is the idea number two. Um, this is an idea that's already been introduced in the state legislature and has been advocated by the state senator Julia Salazar. She would create four new income tax brackets for millionaires. This is just to create fair taxation for people because wealthy people don't pay their fair share. Her plan would generate two million dollars per year in new income for the states. And if you calculate the net present value of that amount, that creates about $27 billion available now for bond issuance. This is not very complicated. If Julia Salazar can have introduced this in Albany, what does that tell you about the city council members here in New York City? They can do something similar. We have someone who might want to come down, Roberto, would you like to come down and talk about this plan?
you have it, you need to take back our city, our economic future, and preserve public health. No. No. 
Is it reasonable? Yes. Yes. Is it impossible? No. All we need is what? Leadership. We need leadership. Most of the problems we have in government today is a, is a result of failure of leadership. If there are two things I want people to remember today is legislation of bad ideas, and we're, what we're confronting is a failure of leadership. Find the money. So, one of the things that I've been telling people is when the people lead, the leaders follow. What we're trying to do here is, is create a consensus that these five ideas sound reasonable, they're within each, they're not punitive, and some of them are already legislation ready. This shows you we can find the money. Okay, those are, that's a, sorry. I just want to say one more thing. So, you guys heard that Google um, is to invest $1 billion in San Francisco for affordable housing. Did you guys hear about that? Okay, so Google's going to invest $1 billion for affordable housing in San Francisco. Well, where else is Google? Hello? So, and I just saw something on New York One. Uh, this morning, and uh, you know, uh, the TA president Miguel, as you know, was talking about how Google gives turkeys to Colton houses. <laughs> I'm like, really? So Google gives turkeys, but they're giving one turkey to San Francisco? I mean, really? I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. so anyway, I think we should also maybe it's time to also pressure the, the corporations that are around. Uh, public housing. You know, we can do that too.